Let's spawn a tree on different blocks. 121 Minecraft modding course is available down below. With over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found some back and tell you once more. And in this short tutorial, as you can clearly see, we're going to, well, make it so that our custom tree, being this, uh, the Bloodwood one, uh, we're going to make it so that it can basically be placed and also spawn on different blocks. Now, this is actually more involved than you might think. Now, it's obviously not too complicated. However, the one thing that it basically is, is it is, number one, a thing in the sapling block, as well as in the configured feature that we need to change. So the sapling block is a bush block, and this bush block, you can see, may place on. And you can basically see that we can place this on dirt and also on anything that is a farm block. Uh, now, we're going to change this up to be basically a custom tree. So they're going to do a, uh, in the tutorial mode, block custom package, we're going to right click new Java class, and this is going to be our mod sapling block in this case. We're going to extend this from the sapling block, so we want everything else from the sapling block as well. However, we're just going to change the one thing, and that is from the bush block, the may place on method. So we're going to override the may place on method, and you can see that we're basically, we have a state available to us. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to make a private static final there's going to be a block over here. There's going to be a supplier of a block. I think a supplier of a block is the best way to do this. And this is going to be the block to survive on. There we go. Survive on. Sur survive on. There we go. And this is going to be a another thing we are going to pass in in the constructor over here. This is going to be a supplier of a block, obviously. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't make a lot of sense. There's going to be our block here. And I'm going to say this dot. Oh, we're actually going to make this non-static. Yeah, yeah, we're going to make this private final. I think that does makes the most sense. Yeah, sorry about that one. And we're going to do a block over here. And there we go. And then we can basically take this supplier over here. We can say block to survive on dot get equals state dot get block. And basically say, hey, if the block here matches, then we can basically put this sapling on there. And the great thing is that we can reuse this particular class for any amount of different saplings. So here for the Bloodwood one, we can, for example, say mod sapling block. And of course, then we need to pass in. Uh, this is going to be, let's say, um, uh, blocks dot, actually a supplier of, of a block, a supplier of blocks dot, let's say netherrack right here, just for the sake of argument, right? And then that would work totally fine. And of course, if we had another sapling, then we could pass in a different block and that would also work with that specific block. That's the first step over here that we need to do. The second step is inside of the configured feature where we need to call the different dirt provider over here and then add another block state provider. So there's going to be the block state provider simple. And this is going to be for blocks.netherrack. So we basically need to make sure that the dirt provider over here is the same, well, the same change over here as in the sapling. That's very important. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Now, with this done, obviously, the Bloodwood is not going to spawn in the Nether just yet. However, this is definitely going to at least change the block below. So, first of all, obviously, we need to rerun the data gen so that the configured feature changes. And once that is done inside of the game, it's now going to look kind of like this. All right, friends, I'm back in Minecraft. Now, of course, all of the trees here are still there because, well, they spawned before we changed this. However, if I were to actually TP to a completely different location. So let's just go like absolutely crazy far away. And I were to then locate a savanna biome again, then what we should find is that there are no, none of the bloodwood trees here. And you see there are none because, well, if I try to place it down on dirt, it doesn't work. There's nothing, nothing was working. However, I set it down on netherrack, all of a sudden it works. And of course, on netherrack, it also grows. So that's how we can change the different, well, the dirt, so to speak, on the different tree. Very importantly, on Neoforge, there is also, well, basically, we can't set it down on any of the dirt ones. That is uh, a fix that was ha that happened. I believe in Forge, it still uh, will also still allow it on dirt. But yeah, there you go. That is basically how to add or change the block that a sapling can exist on. Pretty interesting. And that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll talk about custom bush generation. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.